Oklahoma City had a pride fest that was filled with all the music, rainbow flags, and love you could want to find. Thanks in part to Sarah Cunningham. Happy Pride, baby! And her group, Free Mom Hugs. You have moms and dads and friends and allies by the thousands. My parents are not supportive of me being gay, so it just felt good to have somebody say that. But Cunningham, who grew up a devout Christian, Ah! did not always embrace the LGBTQ plus community. In fact, when her son Parker, now 33 years old, came out to her when he was a teenager, the mother of two rejected him. I really thought that he was going to burn in hell for eternity. And I thought if I accepted this about him, that made me just as much of a sinner than he is. You never forget I mean, things that were said or things that were done, but it's through kind of telling our story together that I think has really helped us um, just understand the journey better. So many kids who were gay don't even have the courage to say it to their mother. He did, Mm -hmm. and you still didn't welcome it. That's not to apply shame. No, I understand. It's to tell people watching to not do it. He was sharing the most tender, intimate part of himself. And I denied him that. That still haunts her. The guilt that he probably felt, and I certainly do now. And we've worked through a lot of things, so... But you can't get rid of those memories. She went through some pretty deep soul-searching. And that is what led to a change of heart. I could not reconcile what I learned as a loving God who created my son, that he would cast him into hell. Was there a moment where you said to him, I hear you and I accept you? Parker and his friend were here and we were in the backyard and his friend was sharing a story and I could see self-harm marks on his arm and he shared about how he had been alienated from his family and his church group. And it was there that I just felt such unconditional love for that person I hardly knew. And she never forgot it. You doing okay? In 2015, she started Free Mom Hugs, and she's been hell-bent on showing up for the LGBTQ plus community consistently. You could have helped serve food. You could have marched in the parade. Like, why a hug? That's a really good question. I'm a hugger, and it allowed me to give love in a way that a mother should. And it has evolved from there. In 2018, Cunningham took to social media, writing, if you need a mom to attend your same-sex wedding because your biological mom won't, call me. I'm there. How many people called you? People from all around the world said, I'll show up too. I'll stand in. Really? Yeah, all over the world. Cunningham has officiated or served as a stand-in mom at more than a dozen weddings. Have you lost friends doing this? Yes. Family? Yes. Have they come back? Only when someone they love comes out. Ah. Uh. And that's all right. When I was the mom like me then, I needed someone who shared my faith to tell me it's okay to search the matter out. It's so cool. Melissa Williams turned to Cunningham after learning that her daughter was a lesbian. Can I offer you a hug? Williams is now the co-leader of the Texas chapter of Free Mom Hugs. Have the best time. We love you. you. Happy Pride, y'all. Last weekend, she drove the two hours to Oklahoma City to give some hugs. This makes me cry. For Herod Aspen, whose mother passed away before she came out, the connection is one that she longed for. Having somebody who represents a mom just being accepting and loving is extremely important. And people like me and others that I know, just that one hug means everything. It makes my eyes water when I think of the love and the outpouring of this community. This is what it's all about. In the nearly 10 years since she gave her first mom hug, Sarah Cunningham is now traveling parts of this country with her son, shedding her shame, forgetting her fear, and joining in in the joy. You feel loved? Very loved. Love has come full circle. Over the course of this interview, you have said in a roundabout way about three times, the Lord said to me, and it's occurring to me that you got all twisted up about what people said the Lord meant yes. rather than mm-hmm. directly what the Lord was telling you to do. Yeah, and that's what I couldn't reconcile. Yeah. 
That's sweet. I never heard it said that way. Thank you, David. Free Mom Hugs has become a nationwide movement with chapters in all 50 states. Sarah is hoping that one day there are going to be chapters all over the world. David, I love this. Um, well done. You know, I look at you like family, so I hope these questions aren't too personal. But when did you come out and do you remember your first hug mm. of acceptance? Well, it's interesting. I never expected to be asked this question on national television, but more importantly, I never expected to be honest about it. Um, I came out at 24, and I remember, Nate, it's funny you ask, I was about 17, I was in high school, and I was a speech coach, Josette Surratt, who pulled me into her classroom one day, and she said, what are you running from? And it was the first time someone essentially said to me, what happened to you, rather than, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And it mm. led to an explosion of stories and uh, me breaking down my wall that I built up for 24 years. Mm. But we're so glad yeah. that Sarah's doing what she's doing. I was very touched yeah. when she said that people uh, change when someone they love comes out That's to them. I was struck by. I was yeah. really struck by that. Because she yeah. said, you asked her, have yeah. you asked friends? And she said, yes. yes. And they come back only when someone they know or someone yeah. in their family comes out to them, David. Yeah. Bingo. You know, guys, and, she and wrote a memoir. Go ahead, Gil. Well, all of us have someone in our own family. You may yeah. not know it. You yeah. may not know it. But all of us have someone we know in our own families. That's, that's the her. reality of the world we live in today. So I'm and so glad she's bringing this message. Go ahead, David. Sorry. For her, it's Parker. No, that's okay. Jamie Lee Curtis actually is going to be making Sarah's story, a memoir she wrote, into a movie. Wow. And Jamie Lee is wow. going to be the, the lead in that movie. And one more thing. You may be wondering at home. I wonder if she still goes to church. She does. She's still a Christian. Mm -hmm. She's still proud of it, but she goes to an affirming church because she said, David, I'm never going back to a place that tells me loving my son for exactly who he was born to be is wrong. Amen, Amen to that. Amen to that. David, I remember you and I were anchoring together on CBS News streaming uh, when the Supreme Court ruled in favor of same-sex marriage. That was such a proud moment for you. I remember we, we high-fived each other, even though we're objective journalists. Uh, we high-fived each other on the air, um, and it was an incredible moment. And at yeah. the end of Pride Month, I just want to wish you a happy Pride Month. Happy Pride. It was great yeah. to, spread, to, you know, have that moment with you, Vlad, and happy Pride. I never thought this kid from Louisiana would be able to say that on national television. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's a full circle getting... moment for me. Happy Pride. Yeah. You give the best hugs, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a big one when I see you again. <laughs> that kid from Louisiana is doing A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. David, Mwah. always good to see you. Thank you. Thank